Yeah, I'm back again. So um, when I realised after in 1975, after all the Indian opposition, this is when the Jan- Janata Party formed, the Jana Sangh, the first real opposition to the Indian uh, Indian National Congress Party since 1947, when they formed to oppose the dictator Indira Gandhi. And in 1975, she called for an illegal state of emergency and all the opposition were thrown into jail. Many were tortured, some were killed throughout India, not just in Punjab, but South India as well. This is when my mind started de-radicalizing and realized when the Khalistani start saying Hindu government, Hindu Akite, Hindu Akite, it's like that's very um village idiot, very uh, unintelligent way of talking about it because um the re- reality is it was one party called the Indian National Congress Party. Now they think because the one party called the Indian National Congress Party is called the Indian National Congress, they think it's the whole Indian government. They think it's all the Indian opposition parties and it's the whole Hindu religion. Now the Hindu, the Hindu religion is not represented by one infantry called the Maratha infantry. So this is when I started de-radicalizing and calming down. And so, as I concluded, rather than take up a separatist armed struggle in 1978 to call for an independent Sikh state to, uh, for the answer to all our problems in regarding to how our agriculture is being looted from us, I thought, why not we just get behind the Indian fierce opposition to the Indian National Congress Party and get behind the Jodhari Jaran Singhs of the Bharatiya Lokdal, the Rashtriya Lokdal and the Raj Narayans and Shanti Bhushan and the uh, Jay Prakash Narayans, the fierce opposition to the Indian National Congress Party. So that was my conclusion. And uh, so what happened after that then uh, in 1978 uh, the ministers were released so they were in prison for quite a long time because of Indira Gandhi and Jodhari Jaran Singh upon his release he became prime minister and he had Indira Gandhi arrested and thrown into jail for her corruption during the state of emergency and so what would you do if you were in any state in Punjab or any state in India you'd be like well let's all get behind Jodhari Jaran Singh and vote for Jodhari Jaran Singh to keep Indira Gandhi in jail because with the bread basket behind the decision of Jodhari Jaran Singh to imprison Indira Gandhi for her murders and her tortures then she, her fate is to remain behind bars but then a headache happened in Punjab uh, separatists started taking up an armed struggle calling for a separate Sikh nation and anyone who did not support withdrawal from India uh, were brutalised the intellectuals were harassed with the Sikh or Hindu and I'm sure if they were Buddhists or Christian who refused separation from India they'd also be persecuted so we've got a headache that we really could have done without we really didn't need that headache of uh, calling for a separate uh, separate armed struggle because that's not the solution and they're going to say that their, their argument is like why? why can't we have our own separate Sikh nation Pakistan got their own nation why can't Sikhs have their own nation and it's because the economy of Punjab contributes a mandatory vital taxation to the acts of union in India in regards to the central government in India so what sort of things could an intellectual possibly negotiate as a member or spokesperson or uh, Sarpanjo as chief minister of Punjab to the rest of India so something that comes to my mind along the lines is something like this so say if Punjab were to say uh, revise the acts of union between all states in India and say Punjab would contribute 50 percent mandatory tax to the central government in India along with all the other states whether from Dravidra Nadu in South India Bengal where there's iron ore steel uh, cotton tea fish spices wheat or any other commodity that India uh, brings to the marketplace after trading with our international customers we will put 50% state economy as 50% tax contribution towards the central government in New Delhi this is for the health care for the education for transport for army for fire brigade for housing development this is for the sciences so that's mandatory taxation that we do not dispute we don't have a problem with now what remains is the remaining 50 percent state economy that should be in chandigarh punjab haryana and that's for local schools local economy local transport local hospitals local housing local fire brigade local police and local so that's for the local state for the state economy but currently our remaining 50 percent for our state economy is not in punjab where is it? When the economy of Punjab in 2014 was estimated 14 billion, uh, 40 billion dollars, but the state of Maharashtra in Mumbai was an estimated 350 billion dollars. Where is that money that Gujarat and Maharashtra have to build all these? You know, where is it coming from? It's from trading Punjab's property, Punjab's agriculture. So, if in 
19, if that's the problem that our state economy has been looted from us after we've put 50% tax, well, that's not just a Punjab problem, is it? That's happened everywhere. They did it to Madhya Pradesh, they did it to Uttar Pradesh, they did it to the fishing quarries, the iron quarries, the metal and the coal quarries. They've done it throughout all of India. So rather than take up a ruthless, murderous armed struggle and start killing people, calling for a separate Sikh nation, I concluded that when I learned about the state of emergency in the 1975, when there's a fierce Indian opposition who are becoming courageous and brave enough to speak out against the Indian National Congress, corrupt Nehru family and Nehru dynastic policies. Um, I concluded, let's get behind the fierce opposition and support putting 50% towards the central government in New Delhi, fighting to keep our remaining 50% state economy for our local governments and our local authorities. And I thought that's the more realistic and sensible thing to do. Um, rather than uh, uh, treating Hindus like a second-class citizen in their own Harappa Hindu holy land in, in the Indus Valley or in the land of the Five Rivers. So um, that's what I concluded and that's where I stand. Now, what they will do as the Khalistanis, they will try to just... Now, what, what, what it's a bit pickle is how to put it. In 1978, there was a dispute between the Nirankari Bhavan and the Bindarwala Damdani Taksali leadership. Now, I am not keen on the Nirankaris if they support Indira Gandhi. If they are Chaudhari Charan Singh Nirankaris or Jeo Prakash Narayan or Raj Narayan Shanti Bhushan Nirankaris, then I have no problem with them. It's just, it's not so much having a living master that I have a problem with. The Indian constitution guarantees the person the right freedom of religion and freedom not even to have a religion. So that's someone's own personal choice. But the politics of supporting Indira Gandhi is is very, she, she was a Haram Jadi, she was a bitch. And so, um, in regards to that, it's like, how to put it? If we, as all the brother, Radha Swami, Namdari, Nirmala Kade, Ravidasya, Jodhari Charan Singh Nirankaris, if we were to have a secular front in Punjab, where we have we promote our Harappa heritage, our Kushan heritage, our Rajput Confederacy heritage, we talk even about when we had peacetime with the Sufi heritage, and then we talk about, you know, the Sikh Confederacy heritage, but the diverse multicultural heritage of Punjab, and we have Buddhists, secular left-wing Christians, left-wing Sufis and uh, pre-Islamic you know Sufis and things like that and Sikhs and Hindus and we all say to outsiders from Punjab we will put 50% tax contribution towards the central government in New Delhi this is for the army healthcare education transport housing development uh, low and 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 what we want demand to uh, a keep is our local state economy our state economy of 50% which should be in Chandigarh and currently it's been looted via kidnap, torture and rape and blackmail by the Maratha infantry from Mumbai Maharashtra Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Nehru supporters who had more motive to murder Mahatma Gandhi to steal our wheat and that's what we demand to be transferred to the Chandigarh Municipal Corporation now, if people were speaking like that in 1940s, 1970s and 1980s, you'd find that there'd be a lot of like-minded opposition throughout all of India who have the same demands, whether from Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala or Tamil Nadu. People, you have to reach out to all your economic work colleagues throughout the whole union of the Acts of India, the Acts of Unions of India. Well, what the Khalistanis were doing, they were pushing everyone away. They're making everyone hate us and despise us with the rhetoric that they're going to slaughter 50,000 and Hindus if they if they if their warriors aren't released and shit like that. So when I when I learned these things, I think that the bakwas these separatist Khalistanis come up with it's, it, it poisons young people. Where some people's young have seen their children go from fun-loving people to now growing their beards and wearing orange turbans and becoming so hateful towards Hindu Hinduism when we've got gurus named after Hari Krishna and Har Gobind Hari Govinda. So that's poison. So this video is more just to share, to de-radicalize the youth and just to get people to forget separatism, become a Khalistani dissident. It was very, it's not easy to, uh, uh, to, uh, to speak out against Khalistanis because many have been murdered in Canada and America for speaking out against them. But really and truly make the Indian opposition who are currently weak stronger by getting behind the Rashtri Ralokdal, Jodhari Jaran Singhs and the uh, Jail Prakash Narayans and the Bahujan Samaj and the Aam Admi parties and build a fierce opposition 
opposition to tackle the Maratha infantry. So I think that's more sensible. But because I won't support separatism, then I'm the worst person imaginable. They make death threats and threaten. They're just haram, are they? So um, 50%, that's where I stand.